If you're looking for a tough, off-road capable family SUV with a Holden badge, there's really only one choice, the Colorado Ute-based Trailblazer. But while it's much improved from the original seven-seat Colorado, is it good enough to outperform its main rivals in the outback playground of South Australia's Flinders Ranges? It's not until you spend a few hours behind the wheel in the latest Trailblazer that you realise how much better it is to drive than the old Colorado 7. One of the biggest improvements is how much quieter and more refined it is. Now you can hardly hear the 2.8 litre engine when revved and there's very little noise from the side mirrors. In fact, we reckon it's now one of the quietest of the ute based SUVs. The other surprising thing about the Trailblazer is how well it rides on outback dirt roads. It now steers and handles more like a monocoque SUV than a ladder frame ute based one and steers quite confidently too. Unlike the MUX, it doesn't bottom out when travelling through flood drains and dips at speed. The locally tuned suspension is set up well for all sorts of terrain. The Holden's cabin has also been updated, so it's a shame the old slippery leather seats are carried over. But the good news is the MyLink infotainment system is better than average, delivering sat-nav, digital radio and Bluetooth connectivity in a user-friendly package. Together with the MUX, the Trailblazer is one of the best on test for carrying seven adults, with spacious second and third rows, as well as 12 volt power outlets and climate control vents for rear passengers. The Trailblazer's part-time four-wheel drive system, together with good off-road angles, allow it to tackle tougher terrain with the best of them. Although you'll probably want to, at the very least, replace the slippery high tires if you're really serious about off-roading. Priced from $52,490, the top spec Trailblazer packs in an almost unbeatable equipment package, including electronic driver aids like lane departure warning and tyre pressure monitoring. And fuel economy was the second best on test at 11.8 litres per 100 kilometres overall. But flat front seats and slick road tyres aside, if there was a most improved award, the Trailblazer would get it. <laughs>